today on Be Something Wonderful, how to release all forms of wanting. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I had a session with um, one of my new, newer clients, and then one of her questions was, Tom, here's the, here's the thing. If, if I already have it all, and, and, and like you and other spiritual teachers said that God gave me everything, that I already have it all, and then, then why am I not getting it? Why am I not experiencing it or manifesting it? And I, I mean, I still want it, but why can't I just enjoy it? Well, guys, this question is often asked, so I really wanted to cover this with her and do a video about it so we can really unpack this like we never have before. Here's what I want to say, that the only, and here's what I said to her, the only reason that you're not experiencing it, that you're not, quote, manifesting or creating it or perceiving it or even receiving it is because you believe that you have to hold on to the wanting of it. You have to hold on to the desiring or you won't get it or you won't experience it. Do you hear this? It makes no sense. And, and craving it and wanting it if it's already yours. So that's why it, it, when you give up all forms of wanting, then you have it all. Then you, go, then you start standing in that knowing and feeling that you have it all. You can't feel that, that like you have it all when you're wanting something to be different in 3D reality, when you're wanting so, or, or you're not wanting something to be different. Either way, right? It's wanting, meaning you're hanging on, attached to what you have, not wanting to lose it, or you're wanting, or you're, there's something that's unwanted that you don't want, that you want to change. Either way, it's a, it's a form of wanting. You already have it all. You already are it all. And the, the way to see that, the way to feel it, know that, is to release all forms of wanting. I really want to hit this today like we never had before. Because really, as we talked, it was because of her focus on the already manifested reality. Her, she was immersed in that movie screen. Like we've talked about the analogy of a movie, that you're, that you're streaming your own movie of life. But she was really focused on the screen of changing things there, of wanting things to be different. Right, not wanting to lose other things that she has, all immersed in that. Right, so this is what a course in miracles says: seek not to change the world, but choose to change your mind about the world. That's a powerful statement. That's not to say that you're not to do good things or help, you know, get involved in charities or 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 or, or promote world peace or any of that. It's not. It's not saying that. It's not even talking about that. Right, you'll do things. But the doing isn't what's important because the doing is all inspired by the being, right? So the being is created by what you're thinking, believing, and assuming in your mind, right? So when you ch change your mind about the world, you change the world. You change your world. You change that projection on the screen of 3D time and space, right? The 3D world is a projection of your mind on the screen of time and space. What you perceive is just a motion picture, motion picture, a movie of your life of what you think, believe, and assume. That's what you perceive. Remember, you're the perceiver and the perception, right? That's streaming from you. It's coming from what you, your thoughts, your beliefs, your assumptions. And this is what A Course in Miracles says. My thoughts are images that I have made. That's all thoughts are. They are images. They're the movie role. Your thoughts, your beliefs, your assumptions, you believing in your thoughts becomes your, is your reality. That's your movie role. That's the movie role that you get to change, that you get to choose. That's big. So remember, we talked about the idea of the projection, the, the, the movie. Right? And, and think of this, that pure light, that light, that light or that projection is source or God, right? And is lighting up whatever thoughts, beliefs, and emotions you have, the movie reel of your life, the movie reel of your inner reality. It's lighting that up and projecting it on the screen of time and space. Those are just shadows of what's going on in your inner world, 
right? But your focus is here. You're saying there's a glitch, there's something wrong in my movie. And you're trying to fix it by trying to fix the screen versus going within and, 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 and adjusting or thinking or creating new beliefs, new thoughts and new emotions on the reality that you want to create now. In other words, by changing the film role. Right? Your inner world, remember, your inner world, behind even the thoughts, feelings, and emotions, deep in that inner world, is God, is that light of which you are. That's what's projected on the screen of time and space. Without beliefs, thoughts, and emotions, it would just be that pure light of God, that untouched light, right? That pristine white light. Like before a movie starts, you see the light on the screen. There's nothing on the screen yet. That's God. Right? It's the inner reality that you create that gets projected, and you get to choose that. The closer it is to, to pure desire, that love of which you are made and from where you come, source energy, the, the closer that projection is going to be to love or reality that you want and that you desire. But what happens? We, we split our desire. That pure desire becomes split by a belief in separation, by a belief that the outside world is separate from us and the people, events, and circumstances are separate from us. That pure desire within gets split between love and fear. And now we have a mixed projection based on beliefs, thoughts, and emotions that are mixed between love and fear. So the projection on the screen of life, your movie of your life becomes a mix of loving things and fearful things. The loving things are closer to your pure desire but they're not exactly a pure desire, and then the fearful things are far away from it. So you try to fix the movie by trying to fix the screen. So what's the key? When you're inspired by your higher self, by that pure desire, by that love, everything changes. That's, then you start believing in forgiveness, right? Forgiveness becomes your belief. Forgiveness in what? Forgiving that you even thought about there could ever be a split between love and fear that you're just love, that there is no separation. It's a limiting false belief that you picked up, right? Being in this world of duality. <clears throat> then, then you had start having thoughts of love. Then you start having emotions of love. Then you have start having a truer perception of the world, right? A truer perception that's closer to source energy or closer to your divine source. So everything you are looking for lies within you. We've talked about this, right? God gave you everything. Wanting, here's the thing with wanting, wanting anything to be different, right? Wanting points you in the opposite direction. It points you in the opposite direction of everything you want. Think about this. That means when you're wanting, you're focused here. You're pointed in this direction versus this direction. It's your inner world where you want to focus on, but you're focused here in the outer world. It points you in the wrong direction. You're on the move, your focus is on the movie screen, the projection. God already gave you everything. Wanting is an attempt for you to have more than everything. Can you believe that? Right? How you can have more than everything, but that's what wanting is. And that's why wanting points you in the opposite direction. Because wanting's on the screen where you don't have everything. You have everything within. God gave you everything. That's that pure desire. So you want to go back within. That's where everything is. That belief in separation, that wanting is what keeps you away from the now. Wanting things to be different, focused on the movie screen, pulls you out of the present moment. The present moment now is where everything is. When you're focused on the screen, when you're focused on the manifested reality, you're focused on the linear 3D time. Where, where, where there's past to a regret and there's a future to have anxiety about. Where if you're focused within with no wanting, that, pulls you, that puts you in the present moment where everything is. You're no longer obscuring your inner light. Here's what you're doing, right? That inner light is pure. If you had pure thoughts, beliefs, and emo emotions. If you had pure, pure thoughts and beliefs, your emotions would be pure love, and that light would project pure love. But you're obscuring it with a mix of love and fear. That's what we're talking about, guys, is that now moment. You already are everything and have everything. You are here in the 3D world to experience what you already feel and know. Remember, you're here to remember. That's why. 
That's what all the processes are about. That's what, that's what, this, what some call the 3D journey is about. Right? You're already divine. You're already perfect. You're here to remember. You have divine amnesia. You have forgotten that you're an individualized aspect of God, right? You're here to imagine, to receive, to create, to perceive your own reality. God, all that is, created you in its image and likeness to know itself experientially, right? Remember, God, as all there is, as a supreme being, wanted to know what it was like to be supreme, to be all that is, to be perfect, to be absolute. The only way to do that is to know what it's like not to be. And that's when there were, there were the infinite number of beings created in the image of God, right? So for the absolute to experience what it is like to be absolute, perfect, divine, and whole, that's why you're here. In the absence, this is what Neil Donald Walsh says in Conversations with God, in the absence of that which is not, that which is, is not. Do you hear this? In the absence of that which is not, in the absence of that which is not supreme, which is not God, that which is, which is God, is not. You have to, duality is so God can know God, God as God. Otherwise, it's, you don't know. God doesn't know the supremeness, right? So, that's, so let's get to this. You are an individualized aspect of God experiencing the world of 3D duality to know and remember your divine heritage as a creator of your own reality. That's why, right? You, God split off into an infinite number of aspects of itself to know itself as the supreme being, to know what it's like to be all that is. To know what it's like to be all that is, you gotta know what it is to be not, right? You are an individualized aspect of God, experiencing the world of 3D duality to know and remember your divine heritage as a creator and of your own reality. God goes from knowing to experiencing, right? Remember, God is all-knowing, all-powerful, and everywhere. But in order to know that, God wanted to experience it. And the way to experience it is to split off in an infinite number of aspects of God, right? So then, then and that became you. And that became you going from experiencing to knowing. God goes from all-knowing to experiencing, you're here in 3D reality to experience, to go to knowing. To knowing what? Knowing yourself as a creator. Knowing yourself as an aspect of God. Right? That's why, guys, that it, 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 if, you, if you go within, if you connect and align with your higher self, now you're accessing that knowing. Now that quickens the experience. Right? Now you're calling forth the experiences that you desire. Right? But you have identified so deeply with the screen of 3D time and space, you've forgotten that it's your movie, The Game of Life. You've forgotten the whole game of life. That's the game. Right? God goes from all knowing to experiencing you are part of God, and you go from experiencing to knowing. Right? So you've forgotten the only way you can know the pure love and light of which you are and from of, of which you are made and from where you come is to experience what it is not. That's why you're here. That's why, right? That's why you experience wanting. But remember, all that wanting comes from forgetting that you're not separate from everything, that it's all within you. And so when you release all forms of wanting, by default, you have it all and you will experience it all. That's what all the processes are about, right? What are the rules of the game of life? I've talked about this in one or two videos previously. It's the, games of, it's the rules of your movie or the game of life. You agree to have an amnesia. You agree to get lost in the movie, right? To forget that it's your movie. To forget that it's your life, that you're creating it. You forgot it's just a game in a movie. You get so engrossed in the movie and forgot it's just a movie. You get so engrossed in the game, you forgot it's just a game. Right? You agreed to play in linear time and space. Those are the rules. Linear time and space, right? Which doesn't exist. Everything's happening now. But you agreed to have the experience of linear time. Why? Because if you didn't have linear time, everything would be happening at once, just like that movie. 
<laughs> right? Everything at once, everything right now. And, and you wouldn't know the difference. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to experience what it's like to have it all or be it all, right? So the, the time gives us the experience. Time gives us the space to experience it. Do you hear this? The time and space to experience it. The pleasure, the pain, the drama, the trauma, the ups and downs were all created by you as part of the game. With the amnesia and creation of linear time, we for, forgot we are infinite, multidimensional beings here to remember how to create our own uh, realities. That's it. With, with, with the creation of linear time, with that amnesia, we had forgotten that we're an aspect of God. Here to create our own realities. We're multidimensional. We're infinite. Right? But we believe we're less than that. And then we, we spend our time trying to improve ourselves, trying, to, trying to, to be enlightened, trying to reach God when we are God, where God's within us. Everything is within you. Right? So... You are here in 3D reality to experience the illusion of being something much less than infinite so you can have the experiencing of becoming more. Do you hear this? So you can have the experience, not the experiencing, I guess you could say that. So you can have the experience or, or, of becoming <laughs> more, right? That's why you're here, to experience the illusion of being something much less than you are, much less than the infinite being of which you are, the multidimensional being which you are, so you can have the experience of becoming more. Wow, that's powerful. What's the key? All your desires are already yours to experience to the extent that you allow yourself to be the experience. Hear this. This is big. This is why creating your own reality, manifesting your own reality, perceiving your own reality, Perceiving more of that, all that is, is all about, is all to the extent that you allow yourself to be the experience. Hear this, we, we fight over that, right? We, we resist it when we just need to allow that experience to work through us, right? To experience to the extent that you allow yourself to be the experience. The game and movie of life is about remembering and experiencing again. Because remember, it's all been created. You're a multidimensional being. You're just remembering it. So you're going to experience again, like the first time, more and more of who you already are. Just like the first time, right? Try this. For the next 48 hours, give up all forms of wanting. Give it all up. Total release of all forms of wanting. Just simply rest in the knowing that you have it all. I'm not saying give up your desire. <clears throat> I'm saying giving up the wanting of it, all forms of wanting. Remember, that's what fear really is. Fear is all, all forms of wanting are fear, right? All forms of wanting things to be different. <clears throat> all forms of wanting things not to change or not to lose things. It's all based in fear. Give all that up for 48 hours, rest in that. Feel that you already have it all, know that, and then watch. Watch how, thing, how, how things shift so quickly. Right? That is how to release all forms of wanting. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Visit our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. Until next time, creators, with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude, this is Tom. See you soon.